Thank you for joining me on my continuing journey as I research and recreate my interpretation of medieval Ukrainian and Russian food. This summer I will attempt to grow some vegetables and herbs I have found in my research that are not commonly available at local grocery stores. Today I will show you some of the experimental things I have planted and the first seedlings. Buckwheat was first domesticated in China. Although buckwheat kasha and buckwheat pancakes are considered traditional foods in Ukraine and Russia, the earliest archaeological finds of buckwheat in the medieval city of Novgorod date from the 15th century. Buckwheat is very nutritious, high in protein, and contains no gluten. Buckwheat honey is highly prized in Ukraine. Although this seed is marketed as a green manure, I will be growing it to maturity to perhaps get some buckwheat honey and harvestable grain. Buckwheat is not a fan of high fertility and is an excellent scavenger of phosphorus. I have planted a large patch at the bottom of the garden without adding any fertilizer. I do try to grow at least a few sunflowers in my garden each year. Even though I and many others associate them with Ukraine and Russia, sunflowers were first domesticated in North America. This year I have planted many sunflowers and have intercropped them with the legume sun hemp at the top of my garden. I am hoping the combination of trenched in fire pit charcoal and ashes with deep rooted sunflower and nitrogen fixing sun hemp will improve the water infiltration, water retention, and overall fertility of the calcareous soil at the top of the garden. I will allow the sunflowers to grow to maturity with the hope of harvesting some sunflower honey and seeds. The sun hemp I will allow to flower, but I will pull them out before they start to set seed. The intercrop sunflower and sun hemp were seeded in the same row with the half and half fertilizer blend deep banded below the seed row. After seeding the cool season vegetables and grains, I tried to keep the seed rows moist to aid germination. The soil was powder dry and rain was still a week away. The cereals were the first to sprout. The germination of the acorn wheat and emmer wheat was poor, but at least I'll get to see what they look like. The Orkney Island Viking barley germinated very well and hopefully I'll have something to harvest at the end of the season. <laughs> 